It's your girl, I love Cindy, back at it. If you're a newbie here, welcome, have a seat. Thank you for coming here, whoever told you, big up to them. And if you're an OG subscriber, yo, thanks for coming back. I love you. And you know the drill, get some wine or some food because it's about to be an interesting video, okay? So today, we're going to talk about annoying things that happen in life. These things that just keep on happening and piss you off. For no reason and the devil just keeps on throwing them away pew, pew, pew. it happens to all of us so i'm gonna address that Sizzle. number one false plans let me explain you know that time when you made plans with somebody and you were like hey we're gonna meet at this and this place at this and this time so you better be dressed up and whatever and you wake up you're ready you get yourself you know looking fresh you know looking oh, slaying and just as you're just about to apply your last eyeliner you get that call oh no i won't be able to make it because of blah 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 bitch what i put my eyeliner for you bitch we are going okay i don't care hello i'm in the hospital no i'm coming with two bottles of wine or whiskey and we're gonna get in the hospital because bitch i already put my makeup on and i have my outfit on so we better go we are going okay i don't care why are you doing that to me like you disrupt my life and you think you're gonna get off like that nah it doesn't it doesn't work like that so we're going okay then there is writing a typo to your crush hey god I, I don't know if this happens to guys, but girls, we lose our shit when this happens. I don't think you understand how bad it is. You're just there, you're talking to your future husband, you're like, eh, you know, you're like, eh, I'm about to lock it down. You know, this is gonna be my blue thing forever. Then you just write some shit, and it's like, what planet are you from? What tribe are you? And you're like, you send a message, and it's too late. There's nothing you can do. Also, another annoying thing is when people disrespect your food. Now, I'm a big girl, okay? We don't play with our freaking food. So, you already know I'm very passionate about this. <laughs> it's even hard for me to talk about, you know? But I'm gonna address it. One, when you leave your food in the fridge, you've been thinking about it all day. You've just been like, oh, those ribs, I can't wait. You know, I left it over last night and I'm like, mm, I cannot wait to taste you. Then you come to check on your food and you find that someone has eaten it already. It's all over there. Hello! Lord. Mm -mm, mm -mm. What you doing? 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 Why? 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 Now the second scenario is where you've gone to a restaurant with someone. It could be your friend, your boyfriend, family member, whatever. And you want to order for food. You order for something and you're like, okay, this is what I want to have. This tastes really good, so this is what I'm going to have. And then you tell the other person that it's going to be very good, so they should probably order it. But they're like, no, 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 I don't want to. I want to do something else. And you're like, fine, it's your right. You can do whatever you want. Then the food comes. And then my food looks better than your food. <laughs> Jesus, help me finish this. You decide. Let me have a taste of your food. I'm not stingy. I'm gonna be like, you know what? Have some. But you keep eating my food, knowing very well that I gave you the opportunity to eat what I am eating, but you had to disrespect me. Order something else than eat my food. Hello! Lord. This is not a game. I do not play with my food. You know, those days when you're just chilling at home, it's a chill Sunday, you're just minding your business, wig off, you know, no makeup. Then you just yeah, come, come, come. And announce gelatin at your door. Jesus Christ. Africans, you're very notorious for this, huh? You know yourselves. And I know you guys also get irritated. It's like, bruh, 
why would you just call me in advance okay so i can prepare my life for not being around in advance it's only courteous for me to lie to you with strategy now you show up and i'm just like i'm screwed there's nothing you can do i have to pretend to do all the things that i have to cook it's, it's so annoying like you guys there's also the random hitting of your toe on furniture or random walls in the house hello i'm pretty sure this is a universal catastrophe that needs to be addressed you're walking around in your home where you should feel safe you know and the things in your house don't agree you mind your business and then you're happy in a happy mood and then oh your toe is disconnected from the rest of you through jesus christ at this point i'm like bitch square up i'm literally ready to fight my furniture because you ain't gonna keep hurting me like this for no reason so square up <laughs> let's fight you wanna fight let's fight let's fight then there is the cloak of invisibility let me explain you know how you can have something somewhere in your house or wherever and you keep seeing it every day when you're doing whatever you're doing you're going around the house doing your chores doing whatever you need to do you see it every day on the same spot but you never need it so you just leave it there then the one day when you need to use this thing it's not there it just threw on the oh, cloak of invisibility nowhere to be seen jesus I saw you every single day, but when I need you, you can't come through for me. For me, your owner, that is just disrespectful. Then you're like, okay, I'm over it. I don't need it anymore. You find a solution. It could be your ID, your car keys, whatever, the house keys, you replace them. Then five months later, you find them just there, around the same area or just hidden somewhere. What? They know how you're thinking, they know your moves, and they're plotting against you. Stay woke, people. Stay woke. Ever been in a situation where you're just walking down the road casually and you bump into a stranger? So you, you really don't know what direction either of you is going. So you go this way, then they go that way. And you go this way, and they go the same way. So you're like, okay, uh, you see where I want to go, so go the opposite side, but they don't. So you go this way and they do the same thing. What I'm saying, if you keep doing that, especially if you're cute, you are now my husband. Because I didn't tell you to keep confusing me like this and like that. So either you go the opposite way or we are getting married. If you're a girl, okay, boo bye. But if you're a cute guy, yeah. It's you and me forever now. We all get into arguments, right? Uh, with our significant others, family members, friends, strangers whatever it is we've all gotten into arguments don't you hate it when you had something to say or maybe even in the middle of a story like you're saying something very interesting or someone was being roasted or you were talking about something very informative but you forget what you were supposed to say when everyone gives you audience to hear what you wanted to say and it's like uh, uh, uh. Now, we all know how important our phones are to us. They're like our babies, you know, that we didn't give birth to, but we bought. And you wouldn't want anything to happen to your phone. But your phone remains mad disrespectful when it decides to randomly fall and give you constant heart attacks because you do not know if the screen is cracked. You're just having, you're having a good time, you know, you're having a good time. And then I'm, your phone is on the ground and it's just like you have a moment when nothing makes sense anymore and it wouldn't live anymore because my phone just left me i don't know if it is i don't want to be here anymore and in addition to this we have those moments when you, you can't find your phone it was in your giant bag you know that's like the size of a tent keep looking through can't find it. Touch your pockets. Oh my God, where is it? Then you have that moment for like.
then you find it. Lastly, is what happens in my tattoos. When you get in, you know, it's it's a confined space. So naturally, you'd want the window or a window to be open. But everybody up in that decides, no, let's close these windows. Nobody needs to breathe. Nobody needs oxygen. We are traveling in essentially what is a fat box. Yeah. This matatu smells like the place death comes to poop or poop comes to die. And you do not want me to get air in here. What is wrong with people? Why do you do this? So you know what I'm going to do? You either open that window or I'm going to break it. Or I'm going to break that thing into two. And that, my dear people, has been the annoying things that happen in life. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I know a number of you really don't act. We're in this together. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to share and subscribe. Please, I will really appreciate this. Until next time.